In this tutorial, we'll show you how to quickly integrate your Azure AD instance with Auth0 and be up and running in minutes. So, open up Azure Active Directory and click App Registrations. Then, simply click New Application Registration and enter whatever name you like and then sign on URL, which is the URL that the user will be redirected to after they log in. So now we have our newly created app registration. So the next step is to grant the permissions. Click on Settings and go to Require Permissions here and click on Windows Azure Active Directory. You'll see that the Sign In and Read User Profile permission is already granted. So we just need to tick Read Directory Data and we're all good. Now we need to create a key to use as the client secret in the Auth0 connection. So we just go to Keys here and then enter a description and set an expiry time. In this case, we'll just use never. Once we click save, the key will appear. So we'll just copy that and we'll use it when we set up the connection in Auth0. Now you just need to add the reply URL for your Auth0 domain. So we just go to reply URLs and you'll see the sign on URL you configured earlier. We add the URL like this. So of course, make sure you use your own Auth0 domain. Great, we're all set on the Azure side. So now we just need to configure our connection in Auth0. In the Auth0 dashboard, go to Connections, click Enterprise, and then at the bottom here, you'll see Microsoft Azure AD. Click the little plus button on the right, and you'll get this screen. First, paste the key value you copied earlier into the client secret. For the client ID, we'll need to quickly pop back into Azure to get the application ID, which you can find here under Properties in your app registration. You can find your Azure AD domain in the overview in the Azure portal. You'll see it here at the top, and we can just paste it in here. So, regarding email domains, when a user enters their email into Auth0's lock, Lock will check the domain of the email and direct them to the relevant identity provider. This is what we call Home Realm Discovery. By default, Lock will direct to your connection any users whose email domain is that of your Azure AD domain. But you can add additional domains you want to associate with the connection in the Domain Aliases field. In this case, the other options aren't relevant, so we're just doing a basic setup. So go ahead and click Save. Click Continue and Log In, and this will grant Auth0 the necessary permissions.